It is massive. So in my last video, you'll have seen how much I struggled to foil on that old cut down foil. So as you can see, it is very small. Had a lot of work done to the ends. I was talking to AMAC about my problem and uh, he happened to have this, which is an old prototype. Have a look how cool this is. It is massive. So it's essentially a Mac 2 large from like 10 years ago. And then he had the tips extended at the time. So I assume he was playing around with higher aspect ratios and stuff. It is super thin. So compared to my 2.3 uh, high lift that I run um, or have been running for the last couple of years, it's really thin. So I assume it'll have a better top end. The flap goes all the way to the edges. So it should have really good control in the waves. Uh, relative to the fixed tip foils I've been trying. So we're going to whack this on, have a go on the weekend. If I get it on tonight, then tomorrow night I can reset the angle of attack again. And uh, hopefully we get some wind on Saturday. So really excited to get this on. Massive thanks to AMAC for helping me out with this. Um, I, I really like this theory because I'm not an average size person. So why would I use an average size foil? So this is a cool thing about the moth. You can customize stuff to suit you and uh, hopefully get a better result. So after a bit of work with the Dremel to get the bog out that I put in last week so that I could get my Allen key in to get the bolt out, the old foil came off and the new foil went on. So you might have noticed that I spend a lot of time playing with my foils getting the setup just right. Why we do this was summarized perfectly by the famous yacht designer Paul Beaker on episode 48 of the Sailing Anarchy podcast. During the 2013 America's Cup, he realized that on a foiling boat, when you're on the foils, everything above the water is equal and opposite to everything below the water. So, therefore, these tiny little changes we make to our foils are kind of the equivalent to a huge variety of changes on your sails or, like, you have to make a massive difference above the water to get the same result as you do from a very small change under the water. So that's why I spend ages doing stuff like this, getting my foils to the right angle within, like, half a degree or less, and uh, it's really worth it in the end. Unfortunately, after all that, the forecast for the next day was looking horrendous, with a big high pressure system coming straight through the state, meaning there's probably going to be no wind. As far as I was concerned, there was only one thing to do. Set your alarm for 6 o'clock in the morning and get down to the yacht club way before it opens, pull your boat through the bush to get to the beach, and then uh, rig up and get out there before the breeze dies completely. When I arrived, there was a rapidly dying west southwesterly breeze. However, the clouds over Arthur's seat in the background, the mountain behind the yacht club, looked really cool. Alright, so here we go. McRae, venue for this year's Nationals. As you saw, got up super early and uh, got down here. Breeze is just holding on. Sort of still looks promising up over the back of the land here. Um, really got to get out there because it's going to die quick. So, yeah, let's go. Hoping this cloud here has got a bit of breeze in it, maybe a kick around. It feels like it's bending as I come in. A little bit of breeze down one of these waves. I reckon I'll be up. Maybe this little puff. So the puffs are there, but they're not there. A massive pot of dolphins just there. When I say just there, I mean on the beach. Maybe I'll get to see them. Hoping these clouds give me some breeze. Maybe seeing dolphins is a good sign. Now they're up there. They make good BMG. Definitely got colder. Not a whole lot windier yet and darker, but just keep waiting. Feels like it's clocking around a bit more, which is good. The breeze has just shifted like 45 degrees. As I suspected, before I was going that way, now I'm going this way, so big difference. Now I just need a little bit more pressure. 
Grace looks better in behind me. I'm gonna jive. Okay, come on, show me this path.
one does right now. There's no wind. <laughs> like so much about this boat is so not annoying, just fiddly, like because it's all gotta be so right. And there's so much load on the vang and everything. So your foils have got to be sanded to the right grit. It's so sensitive to everything. You float around, stop for ages. And then you get one pass and it's just like the best feeling in the world. After that the breeze did die right out but I was joined by a few more Mac 2s getting ready for the Nationals. That's ridiculous. Just a massive thanks to the people on Patreon that continue to support the channel. It's really appreciated and if you haven't already please subscribe and uh, leave a comment. I love to read them and uh, yeah I'll see you next time. <laughs>